Wait a minute. We don't have time for a showdown. Oh, that's right. Showtime. Lisa, I could listen to that all day long. Elena Uriosti performing on the Mid-South audio stage. That was just last year. Every time she sets foot on the, in the studio, we just stop and listen. Her talent just has a way of soothing. And now she is sharing that talent with all who want to listen. Joining us this afternoon is Elena Uriosti via Zoom. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. This is my first Zoom interview for television. <laughs> oh my goodness, how about it? So how have things been with how everything is? Well, for classical musicians and performers of any kind, really, it's been quite a struggle as um, our professions rely on large groups of people congregating um, to listen and watch and, and all of that. So um, as you can imagine, it's been quite a struggle for most of us. But um, I think musicians are rather well set up for being isolated. Um, all of the years we spend um, confined to our practice room um, by our right. own choosing, <laughs> mostly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, people are getting quite inventive. Um, orchestras are splicing together complete performances of major symphony orchestras uh, with everyone, you know, in their own living rooms. There's been a lot of recording, a lot of sharing, and I think it's really beautiful that people um, just have to keep making music and sharing it with each other. Let me ask you about this new project that you and your husband have started. <laughs> we, well, in a rather jet-lagged state, um, Tom actually just made <laughs> it uh, into Philadelphia um, just under the wire um, uh, before the travel ban from the UK was set in motion. Um, so he got here just in time and in his rather woozy state, um, we hatched a plan <laughs> to uh, record and share a music video for every day that we would be in isolation, not knowing, of course, how long it would last. Um, but we decided to have it be a request-based model, kind of a nod to jukeboxes. So we asked our virtual followings on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter what we could play for them. And requests just flooded in, and um, we are on day, I think today is 43 of what we're calling the Yuri Posty jukebox. Yuri Posty, um, my last name being Yuri Osti and his being Poster. Actually, the, the names have a fair amount of overlap. So Yuri Posty jukebox, that's what it is. What kind of music do you play? We have, <laughs> we had quite a wide range of requests from the more traditional Mozart and Beethoven to, <laughs> um, we've had a lot of requests for various Disney medleys, songs. Um, Britney Spears, Baby Shark, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so Tom Tom is an incredible arranger. Um, he does composing and arranging as well as uh, being an incredible pianist. Um, so he has had his work cut out for him making medleys of um, a lot of songs that we've realized don't actually have all that great melodies. <laughs> but he has more than, than risen to the challenge. So I was going to say, has this has this challenge kind of helped ease this whole quarantine thing going on? For us, it's been incredibly helpful. Um, I was worried that with with all of my concerts for the foreseeable future canceled, I wouldn't have all that much motivation to practice or play. Right. So by setting this sort of daily goal for ourselves, it's definitely you know um, made us made me pick up the violin, him sit down at the piano, and it's really given a sense of structure and purpose and, and happiness, honestly. Is there anything that you're hoping that your viewers will take away from it? Oh, well, we, ha we have had such an incredible um, influx of feedback um, from our, our loved ones who we would be communicating with anyway to friends and colleagues and random people from our lives that um, you know, we, we've lost touch with over the decades um, to total strangers. So um, we hope that the videos just bring a smile every day. Um, 
uh, we hope that they impress upon people the importance of the arts, that we'd really be lost without them in these times. Because what is everyone doing? They're, they're turning to television and movies and art and music. And these things are really invaluable. And hopefully on the other side, people um, won't take them for granted and to continue to support the arts and artists. And you've made this available to everybody. How can we see them? Yes. So all of our videos are on YouTube. Um, so if you search for my name, Elena Ariosti, um, all of them, all of the videos will appear. They're on a playlist called hashtag Yuri Posty Jukebox. Um, they're on all of um, Tom's and my social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And I've actually compiled them all into one place on my website, elenaeriosti.com slash jukebox. So they're widely available. They're totally free. Um, and we really just want as many people to see them and enjoy them as possible. From our hearts, thank you for sharing what you do best. Have you got enough requests? Do you need more? Uh, well, we're, we're always open for business, um, always <laughs> accepting requests and orders, as we say. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if, if, any, um, if any new viewers or listeners um, have something in mind that we haven't done yet, definitely send us a message, and we will add it to the list. Well, I was thinking Garth Brooks and Conway Twitty, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> violinist Elena Uriosti, thank you so much for your time and for your talent. It's been wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much. You're watching Delmarva Life, where you are about to be soothed by the sweet sounds of the Yuri Posty jukebox with Elena Yuriosti and her husband, Tom. was that if you would like to see more of these videos we've got the link on dumbarborlife.com it is the perfect way to spend your time in quarantine